Hi, welcome to another video. So, recently we talked about making your AI persistent. We looked at the Ralph Wiggum plugin for Claude Code, which essentially forces the AI into a loop until it stops being lazy and actually passes your tests. That was cool. It was a great way to brute force a single problem. But it doesn't just stop there. Because fixing one file or one bug is fine. But what if you want to build an entire platform? If you're just looping one prompt, you are still the bottleneck. You are still the one typing the commands, waiting for the output, and managing the session. You are effectively babysitting the AI. But what if you could stop being the babysitter and start being the manager? What if you could scale yourself? This is where a project I found on GitHub comes in. It is called AutoClaude. Now, before we even open the tool, we need to look at what this project actually aims to do, because the philosophy here is completely different from your standard chatbot. If you look at the repository, it describes itself as a production-ready framework for autonomous multi-session AI coding. The goal of AutoClaude is to wrap the raw intelligence of the Claude API into a structured engineering workflow. It aims to solve context amnesia by giving the AI a permanent memory of your code base. It aims to solve the single-threaded nature of coding by allowing multiple agents to work in parallel without stepping on each other's toes. It basically allows you to turn your single API subscription into a virtual software agency. It takes the concept of agentic coding and moves it away from a command line curiosity into a visual, manageable product. And the best part? It is completely free and open source. You just bring your own API keys. Now let me show it to you in action. Installing it is pretty easy. You just grab the packages and install them and you are ready to go. It's an Electron app. So, it's cross-platform, and you can kind of run it on the web as well. So, let's look at the interface, because this is where everything changes. When you open AutoClaude, you aren't greeted by a blank terminal or a chat box. You are greeted by a Kanban board. This is the core philosophy shift I was talking about. Instead of a chat, you have a workflow. You have columns for planning, in progress, AI review, human review, and done. It basically allows you to treat the AI like an employee. You create a task card. You don't just say fix the bug. You create a ticket. You give it a title, a description, and you can even drag and drop screenshots or reference files directly into the card. Once you hit start, you don't just watch text stream on a screen. The task moves to planning. The AI analyzes your code base, and I mean really analyzes it, which I'll get to in a second, and it creates a step-by-step -step plan. Then it moves to in progress. Here is where it gets interesting. AutoClaude utilizes something called work trees. If you aren't familiar with Git work trees, they are basically a way to check out multiple branches of the same repository at the same time in different folders. Why does this matter? It means AutoClaude can run multiple agents in parallel. You can have one agent fixing a CSS bug on the front end and another agent refactoring the database schema on the back end simultaneously in the same project. They are sandboxed in their own work trees. Usually, if you tried this, you would end up in merge conflict hell. But AutoClaude has a specific AI layer dedicated solely to resolving merge conflicts. It's like a senior engineer swooping in to clean up the mess before it ever reaches your main branch. While those tasks are running on the Kanban board, you also have access to the agent terminals view. This is for when you want to be a bit more hands-on. You can spawn up to 12 different terminals. Imagine having 12 different junior developers sitting in a room, and you can shout commands at all of them. 
You can rename these terminals to keep track of what they are doing. You can tell Terminal 1 to write tests. You can tell Terminal 2 to update the documentation. You can tell Terminal 3 to experiment with a new feature. This is kind of awesome because it decouples your time from the AI's execution time. You trigger the swarm, and then you go get a coffee. But the real magic here isn't just the parallelization, it's the memory. If you've used standard chat interfaces, you know they lose context. They forget what file structure you have, or they hallucinate imports. AutoClaude uses a graph memory system combined with semantic rag, retrieval augmented generation. It indexes your entire project. It understands the relationships between your files. It knows that if you change a component in the front end, it might affect a root in the back end. The more you use it, the smarter it gets. It builds a knowledge graph of your specific code base. This allows it to make decisions based on the actual architecture of your app, not just the last three messages in the chat history. It also has an ideation and roadmap feature. This is wild. You can ask it to analyze your project and suggest features. It will look at your code and say, hey, you are missing error handling here. Or you should probably implement a dark mode. It generates these ideas as tickets. You can then just click a button and boom, it's on the Kanban board, ready to be executed. It even handles the boring stuff. There is a changelog generator. It hooks into your Git history, looks at all the work the agents and you have done, and writes a formatted changelog with emojis, grouping everything by features, bug fixes, and improvements. It can even draft the GitHub release for you. And for the power users out there, it solves the API rate limit problem. If you are using Claude Opus 4.5, which acts as the brain for these complex planning tasks, you are going to hit limits. AutoClaude lets you input multiple API keys and rotate through them. It's designed for heavy production grade usage. The workflow becomes you define the what, you verify the result, the AI handles the how, you create a task, the AI plans it, it executes it in a sandbox, it reviews its own code, yes, it has a self-review step where it critiques its own work. Then, and only then, does it present it to you for a final human review. You can check the diffs, run the tests, and if you're happy, you merge it. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.